And also, I would like to dedicate the shiur for uh, six months already today. Unfortunately, the grandmother of our dear friend, David Alishayev, Leilu Nishmat Miriam Batsuri, Ruach Hashem Tanichena Baganeden, and also Avram Chaim Ben Beruria, Ruach Hashem Tanichem Began Eden. Okay? And we should hear Besorot Tovot. Guys, I want to tell you before I start the Shiur. Before I start the Shiur, I want to. Bachor de Mikre Baris Ben Dora, Elozor de Mikre Isaac Ben Tamara. Do Hashem Tenichem Began Eden. And Ruven Ben Dukha, Do Hashem Tenichem Began Eden. Moshe Ben Mazal. And also Rav David Feinstein, Ben Shima. Oh, okay. And also uh, Rav Aaron Volkin, Ben Esther. Rav Nachman Ben Yaakov. And also Rav Aaron Volkin, Ben Esther. Rav Nachman Zalman Goldberg, Ben Sara. And Rav Morich El Achminov, Ben Tamar. Ruach Hashem Tenichem Began Eden. Okay, we are being muted, please. Thank you everyone. Rav Hashem Malchuk Cholam Yisrael. Rucham Apel Malkaleh, but Chana Serel. Esther Pearl, but Hannah Dora. This is all the guys that they are here in the shiur. Guys, say hello. Okay, we are here to pray, learn together with you. And by Zad Hashem, we should hear always Besarot Tavot. There are many more people who should be here, but there's your sites and they are supporting their friends. Okay. Before we start the shiur, Lefua Shlema to David, Ben, Jana, Esther, I know this family well, well. 23 years ago, I was invited with my father into the grandfather's house of David. And uh, when we came there, I see his grandfather is crying. My father asked, my father said, why are you crying? He said, my daughter is in labor for the third day. She cannot have child. My father said, let's say she lamalot for her. My father said, she lamalot, and he's the witness. As soon as my father was over, my father said, give me 10 minutes, she's going to have a baby. They started laughing. 10 minutes later, they called from the hospital. They said, just now, baby girl was born. That was 23 years ago. She's 23 years old right now, that girl. And I'm the witness that this happened. This family is a very good family. Shalom family. I'm very close with the grandfather. Recently, I was in Miami two and a half months ago. The aunt, I don't know if it's a sister of his aunt, uh, Chaim of his wife, they invited me to the office, they start putting fruits, vegetables, it's his aunt, okay, fruits, vegetables, I said, excuse me, we just came to pass by, you know, no, 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 Rabbi said, they had a very good conversation, these people care about the community, and by Zad Hashem, David should have full, full little for Ashlema, and Besorot Tovot, V'cheni Ratzova Noman Amen. Now, actually, look at this. I chose the topic, I did not know where we were going to, but this topic has to do with all of us, including David, including everyone that we prayed for. It's unbelievable. I, I still now, till today, I say, Zera Shimshon, he lived 300 years ago, yet he had Ruach HaKodesh. Every Shi'ur we speak, it connects us with the coronavirus, with all this, and today we'll see this Shi'ur has to do with all of us that we're listening now. It says in the Torah, the Abraham Zaken and Abraham Avinu got old. Baba Yamim coming in his days. Vashem berachet Abraham bakol, and Hashem blessed Abraham with everything. Bakol has few meanings. Bakol means with everything. Bakol is gematria fifty-two, means gematria ben son. Hashem gave him son, baby boy Yitzchak, and also bakol means a daughter. Abraham Avinu had a daughter. At the day when Abraham Avinu went to do Akedat Yitzchak and he returned, he saw Sarai, a man who passed away, near her was laying down, his daughter also passed away, Bakol. She passed away on the day when Sarai, a man who passed away. Bakol. Bakol, yes, that was her name. Okay, so now let's go further. But it says, Vavram Zaken, Baba Yamim. And Abraham Avinu was old, coming in his days. We have a custom. Every time we eat a Shabbat meal on Shabbat, we take one spoon and we say, Vavram Zaken Baba Yamim, Vashem Belachet Avram Bakol, and we eat it. Why? We say, Hashem, as you gave beauty in old age to Avram Avinu, please give us old age and a beauty with old age. What does that mean? We'll see right now. Let's go further. Zela Shimshon, Zain, Pech Resh, 
מ"א. ועוד במדרש על פסוק זה, כתיב עטלת תפעלת צבע בדרך צדקה תמצא. If you wanna find a crowd, crown with a beauty of old age, you will find only in the path of צדקה. Doesn't say by doing צדקה, Rashi says by doing צדקה. Zena Shimshon says on the path of צדקה. What means path of צדקה? Shalom Aleichem. Sorry, I said hello to my close friend and this is what happens. <laughs> Mr. Baruch Alam, Shalom Aleichem. Tell me, there is tzedakah or there is a path of tzedakah? How can you say path of tzedakah? What does that mean, path of tzedakah? The way of tzedakah. There is tzedakah. Today we'll see there is a way tzedakah. And if somebody wants to get old, teach him to do tzedakah. Somebody got sick. Tell him, go to his bed, say, listen, make a promise. Believe neither, when you get cured, you will do tzedakah. Ketiv, atere tifere tseva, you want to get crown of the beauty of old age, bederech tzedakah timtza, you will find on the path of tzedakah. Rabbi Meir, azal le mamila, you know in Israel there's a street mamila called? We think, ah, it came out 100 years ago. Not true. This 2,000 years ago, there was a name Mamila. And Rabbi Meir came to the town. It was called Mamila. And he saw people are black heads. Dark heads. What does that mean? I don't understand how to tell you. I'm not going to say Ethiopians. I'm not going to run to the conclusions. But he saw people with the black heads. He right away said to them, Amar, Shema mi mishpachat bnei Eli atem. Maybe you are family from Eli Kohen Agadol. Because since his sons, they did something that looked not so respectful. Uh, people in Zoom, in 10 minutes it will be shutting off. But we will put you back in 30 seconds after that right away, okay? Please don't give up. We will, we will put you back right away. Don't worry. We're not going to continue shoot until we put you back. Okay. So when Rabbi Meir... So people in the town of Mamila, he said, guys, why you have such a black head? Maybe you're from the family of Eli Kohen Gadol? Why? Because those families were cursed. It says over there, Hashem said to Eli's family, all the generations will come, you'll have many children, but God forbid they'll pass away young. What does that mean, young? God forbid, means until 20. Amrullah, they said to him, Rabbi, hit palel aleinu. They said to Rabbi Meir, please, Rabbi, pray for us. Rabbi Meir sees they are 30 years old, 40 years old, 50 years old, 60 years old. He said, one second. Amrullah, Rabbi, hit palel aleinu. Amar lahem, he said to them, Luchu, v'yitapelu be tzedakah. Go and do mitzvah of tzedakah. You will do tzedakah, v'atem zochim lezikna. You will do tzedakah and you will get old age. And through this, you will have old age. My timer. What's the reason? If you want to find old age with a uh, beauty crown on your head, you will find it only through the path of doing tzedakah. So Rabbi Meir says, you want to know proof? I'll tell you. Who you learn from? Me, Avraham. You learn from Avraham Avinu. Shekatuv bo, Avraham zaken ba bayamim, v'adonai berach et Avraham bakol. And Avraham Avinu got old, and Hashem blessed him with everything. So now, one thing you should know. You know there's such a thing called old age. What does that mean, beauty of the crown? What does that mean? What does that mean, beauty of the crown? You know, I have seen a lot of people, they get gray hair, they complain. They say, oh, you know, I have gray hair already. Not true. Today, I'm learning Chumash 20 years in my life, maybe a little bit more. I never knew there is such a thing called gray hair and there is such a thing called old age. Old age is called zikna, old age. And there is such a thing called seva. Beauty of old age, the crown. 
What is crown? Gray hair. So the question to you, if somebody got 90 years old, 100 years old, and his hair black, is that good or is this bad? What do you think? You'll tell me, Rao, it's good. of course it's good. He never got black hair, I mean white hair. He never got gray hair. He's all, not true. Today, Zena Shimshon will open certain secret that I never heard in my life. I never saw in my life anywhere. It's such a deep secret. I want to share with you, and I'm very excited. Let's look inside. The Kasha, as Shimshon says, it's difficult. Dilma Hatzdaka Enema Moelet. He says, why Rabbi Meir was so sure? He says, guys, go do tzedakah, you will live long. Even if you're from the family of Eli. Maybe not. Why? Maybe tzedakah will help you to live long when your family does not have a statement saying that you have, God forbid, curse. You have already decree. Eli's family had decree. They were cursed. Maybe other family doesn't have this problem. They'll do tzedakah, they'll live long. Maybe Ellie's family is not going to work. How Rabbi Mary is so sure, even for Ellie's family, will work. K'mobe Abraham. How Abraham lived long, they will live long. How do you know? Sons of Eli, generation of Eli, Akohen Gadol. They already were signed for short life. Tell me, where did you hear before Eli? There's a famous story that everybody knows. Huh? Rosh Hashanah, where did, you me- where did we mention Eli Kohen Gadol? Brothers, don't fall asleep on it. Oh, <laughs> Chana was praying for baby. Who was born from that? Eli. Shmuel Anavi. Very good. How, how many years Shmuel Anavi lived? 52. 52. Which Gemara talks about it? Brachot talks about it, and also Gemara, Ta'anit, page 5b. Hey, Amut Bet. It says Shmuel Anavi was very old. Excuse me, he was 52 years old. What kind of old is this? Gemara says, for three months of his lifetime, old age jumped on him. He got very old for three months. But, but, who was his Gilgul? Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah, he says, Hare Ani, how is it on Pesach? Hare Ani, Kiven Shivim Shana, Velo Zachiti Shetamer, it's Yad Mislaim Balelo. He says, I am like 70 year old man. Stop. How old was Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah at that time? He was 18 years old. Why is he saying, I'm like 70? Because that night was his birthday. And he woke up in the morning, his wife told him, you want to be chief rabbi? You can't be chief rabbi. Why? Because you don't have gray hair. He woke up in the morning, he had 18 rows of gray hair. And he says, I'm like 70. Why? Because he knew he was Gilgul of Shmuel Anavi. 52 of Shmuel and 18 of his will be 70. So I said, I am like 70 year old man. Okay, now we a little bit woke up about Shmuel Anavi. Let's continue. Let's continue. But Eli was the one who accused Sarah. I'm sorry, Hana. He said, you Shikora, you are drunk. drunk. You know what Shikora stands for? He should have said, you Kesara. You are like Sarah Imenu. But he said, you drunk. And he could have, and he should have said, what? You are Keshera, you kosher woman. But he said it, Shikora. She said, once you reading wrong, it means you're looking at me wrong. From here, Baale Musar say, if you look at someone wrong, there is no way you'll come up with him with the proper judgment. Kav you're not going to have on him. You have to do proper Kav In order to have proper Kav to look good at person, you have to learn how to look for good things. Once you look for good things, then you see good thing in a person. I'll tell you one thing. This week, unfortunately, in New York, we got orphaned by a big gadolador, Rao David Feinstein. If you would know who was Rao David Feinstein, Rao Walkin, my rabbi, he's a uh, bedin 40 years. He told me to ask a question three years ago on my nephew's wedding from Rav David Feinstein. I, I asked Rav David Feinstein a very hard question. He gave me such a simple answer, true answer, but with such a smile. He said, that's not a problem. With a smile. You know, such a warmth. Such a warmth. I felt so good. I've seen 20 times Rav David Feinstein. I've spoken to him 20 times. But every, every time you ask him a hard question, he gave me such a... Nice, warm answer. You felt so connected, so, so good, you know? Sometimes I said to myself, sometimes people ask me 50 questions in one minute, I get angry a little bit. I get upset, like, uh, what do you want to say? Like, you know? No, wrong, wrong. I mean, who are to Rav David Feinstein? But 
You know, people ask you questions, learn how to be calm. You know, to be, you know don't, don't jump right away. Okay, let's go further. The odd. And also another question asking Zera Shimshon. Im If really, Rabbi Meir learning from the Pasuk, the old age, beauty of old age comes through the day of through the way of tzedakah. Lama lo amar laem vatem zochim leseva. He should have said, guys, what's the problem? You already live long, so what's the problem? But if you're already quoting the Pasuk, old age beauty comes with the way of Tzedakah. He says the Pasuk, good. You give a Pasuk, Chazak Baruch. Nobody questioned you. He says, if you want, I'll give you a proof. You could learn from Avraham Avinu. Why he has to quote all this? These questions asking Zerah Shimson. Number one, why are you quoting the Pasuk? Number two, why don't ask? You guys already live long, so what's the problem? Number three, why are you quoting Avraham Avinu? <coughs> the answer is, Ve'yesh lomar, She'al ha-pasuk atelet tifedet tilgish kushia. And this pasuk, and this uh, sentence of the Torah phrase, there is still difficulty on this. Why? Ma'u b'derech tzedakah. What does that mean? On the way of tzedakah that you'll do, you will live long. What, is the, what does that mean? On the way. Listen, somebody asks you tzedakah, you give him a dollar, that's all. You did tzedakah. What is that? On the way. What way? Vlomar bet tzedakah timta. Say in the pasuk, you'll find in the tzedakah long life. In beauty long life. Beauty old age. Doesn't say, o So what's the way? Ve'itesham besamuch. And also near it, it says what? Ve'avraham zaken. Baba yamim. And Avraham got old. Rabbi Yitzchak patach. Ve'gam. Ed ad zikna veseva. What, what says in the Pasuk Tehillim? Tehillim says something very beautiful. It says, Hashem, you gave me age 70, 80, 90. Please keep me like this strong until I will give over to the next generation. Uh, R- R- Michal, can you... Should I do a new one? Or you'll be able to do it? And it says in the Pasuk, in Tehillim, even I till I get old, vagam Even I get old with the beauty, old age. Please, Hashem, don't take my strength away. Let me have long life and give it over to the next generation. Amar Rabbi Acha, Rabbi Acha said, "Ela sheim natata li zikna ten li seva ima." Rabbi Acha says, he explains the pasuk. When you give me old age, Hashem, give me beauty, seva. It's not Vesavata. Seva is a beauty. It's a crown of the old age. Okay? So he says, Hashem, you gave me old age? Yeah, give me the beauty of it. And of course, of course, Rav David, Rafur Shlema to David. Rafur Shlema, you should, you should have long life and also beauty with it. Hashem. Mr. Jeffrey, long life and beauty with it. Hashem. Okay? So let's go further to everyone, everyone who's listening. Those who had corona, those who have corona, those who will have, Chas Shalom should never see corona's face and long life by Zad Hashem. Okay. Amar Rabiacha. Rabiacha said, El Hashem natate li zikna, ten li seva ima. If you gave me old age, give me beauty with it. Mimi atalamed. I don't understand, Gemara says. From where do you learn, Midla says, the beauty with the old age? Me Abraham. From Abraham, we knew Al Yedei. How is this? Because it says, Shekatubo, Veshamru derech Hashem. What gave them old li- long life with the beauty? Because they kept the path of Hashem. Zachna, zakha, lezikna. Because he fa- followed the path of Hashem, which is, which is tzedakah, the truth, kindness. Dichtiv Avraham zaken. And it says what? And Avraham got old. Let's go further. Now we have to analyze. The you can if so, call Mishem Agiel Zikna. Whoever gets the old age, Mila Ushege Afle Seva. He should get the gray hair, beautiful gray hair, to have a nice crown with it. Because he got old age, let him get the crown with it. Vare Anuro Imibcha. But we see sometimes opposite. Some old people, they leave the world even though they don't get gray, gray hair. And we are forced to say that the explanation is this way. 
שמי שמגיע לזקנה, שמי שמגיע לזקנה מחמת המזל, if you get old age because of your מזל, אינו מוכרח שיגיע אף לשיבה. It's your מזל to live long. It doesn't mean you're gonna have gray hair with it. Because you have מזל to live long. Not because of your deeds. יום מזל, השם gave you long life to live. אבל מי שמגיע לזקנה מחמת איזה זכות, but if someone gets old because of certain זכות, זכות מצוות עידית, צדקה, חסד עידית, married, ובפרט בזכות הצדקה, especially if it's זכות of צדקה, זוכה אף לשיבה. He gets old age and he gets the gray hair with it. Guys, till today without gray hair is a stress. Hashem, no, I'm just 40, I'm just 45. Do you know what I'll tell you? Gray hair is a bracha. Hashem shows you, you have old age with a crown. Va'atam, and the reason, Sheba mitzvah da tzedakah zokhe lezikna. What's the proof? Because of the mitzvah of tzedakah, you live long. You get zikna, old age. Yes, lomar, mishum de kaimelan. The sound's going off, Rabbi. Huh? The sound. No sound. Now it's better? It's better now? Good? Yes, Lomar. Mishun de Kaimelan. Because we have established, we have learned. Ben Shishim le Zikna. Pirkei Avot says, what is considered old age? 60 years old. We have a custom. You know Joma? You know Joma? Somebody becomes 60 years old, put Joma on, say Sheikh Yanu, make a party. 60, you make a party. Where Joma? Why? Because you live 60. But they'll give you a second answer. There's a scary answer. Can I give you? You're not going to get upset? Look what it says here. Ube pere gimel de moed katan. And in chapter 3 in Gemara Moed Katan, page 28a says, Amrinan, it says, Mechamishim at shishim zo mitat karet. From 50 to 60, somebody passes away. This is the death of Karet, but not 52. Why? Because Gemara Ta'anid in page 5 says, Ben Niftar be Nun Bet, whoever passed away 52, Zomitat Shmuel Ramati. This is the death of Shmuel Navi. That means he's Tzadik. Of course, guys, I know billion Talmidei Chachamim that passed away between 50 and 60. It doesn't mean they got Karet. Of course not. He talks about somebody who's not Talmud Chacham and is 50, between 50 and 60, and he's not 52. Then it means karet. Umisho said tzedakah, but if you want to live long, simple. Whoever does tzedakah, efshar lo lamut kodem shishim. Whoever does tzedakah, there's no way he will die less than 60 years old. Look at this. Guarantee for life. I'm, I never... I never knew. This is what it means. Tzedakah tatzil mimavid. Why? Why? Because from 50 to 60, then sir. Question, huh? No karet is not going to. That's the proof that tzedakah will take the karet away. That's no point here. Sha'are ketiv, because it says, U tzedakah tatzil mimavid. Tzedakah will save him from death. Ve'im hayamet kodem. But if he would pass away earlier, Haiti Omer, I would think, Shat Tzedakah lo ila klum. If he passed away early, <coughs> then I would think Tzedakah never helped. Less than 50. Or less than 60. Ve'av, kshem magie le shishim eno muchach shezeo bizchudat Tzedakah. Or maybe, maybe, he reached 60. Maybe he just reached 60 because that's his mazal. He didn't do any Tzedakah. Share met mi shishim shana. זו מיטת כל אדם כדי איתה אותם. או maybe he died 60 years old, like any other normal average, you know, 50 years, 50 years ago, 60 years ago, people didn't live long. People think, people think all the times people live long, they're now, not true. Not true. Yes, they had some individuals, but these generations, people live longer than then. Look at the picture of 60 year old man, then you'll think he's 85. I'm referring to that life because they grew up with a stress daily base. That stress daily base. Okay, let's go further. Ulchen, therefore, 
צריך שיתארכו ימיו עד שבעים שנה שהוא זמן של הסבה. So Hashem gives you proof. You get 60 because of your tzedakah. Hashem gives you from 60 to 70. Why? To give you seva. What seva? Gray hair. Crown on your head for the old age. Who gray hair come from? I want to speak with you a little bit, guys. Huh? Abraham Avinu, why? Because people, people bothered Abraham Avinu. They said, remember, Rav Yitzchak, I asked you a question yesterday. You didn't give me my answer. Abraham Avinu says, you didn't tell me anything. What do you mean? I spoke to you yesterday. Remember, near the shul. He said, that was my son. That was not me. And people come to Yitzchak Avinu saying, ah, Chalfa, Rabbi Abraham, you didn't answer. He said, you never spoke to me. He said, what are you talking about? I spoke to you yesterday. They were identical. So Abraham Avinu prayed and said, Hashem, I'm getting old and I'm getting annoyed. Please give me some sign that people should know the difference between me and my son. He woke up in the morning, he had gray hair. Gray hair means crown. It is not a curse. Don't think gray hair is a problem. Gray hair? Huh? He did, he was 25 years old. Abraham Avinu was 125. Gray hair... Gray hair is a sign of old age. Pirkei Avot says old is what? 60. Let him go till 50 at least. He's 25. Let him enjoy the black hair for now. <laughs> black hair, Mary? I'm joking. Let's go further. Okay. Aval. Brothers, let me go further. Aval b'nei Eli, but sons of Eli. Shekatuv bahem. It says over there, V'chol marbit bet chayamuto anashim. Even though your children will have many, many children, they will live, God forbid, by 20 years old, before 20 years old. It means closer to 20 years old. But if they will have, but if they will have the zuchud of tzedakah, they will have guarantee 40 years more. Until 60 years old they live. That is from Masechet Loshana, page 18b. Shehu geder zikna. Why 60? Because this is the border of old age. Today, six-year-old men play soccer. I mean, true. No, no. no Maybe 50-year-old men. Let's go for it. Let's go. Even after pension, they play basketball. What do you mean? I played with somebody recently. Okay, let's go. It doesn't mean I'm playing all day basketball. Okay, thank you. Shapir. So we see, he should have lived till 20. The power of tzedakah made him live till 60. We can, if so, Rabbi Meir, Shapi Ramar, Lahem. Therefore, Rabbi Meir said good to them. He gave good advice. He said, guys, you want to live long. Do tzedakah, v'atem zochim lezikna. You do tzedakah and you live long. Shebizchuda tzedakah, adam zochel lezikna. Because of tzedakah, person will have a long life. Look at this. Guys, this is a big bracha. Zerah Shimshon is teaching us. Eli's children should have lived till 20. Mm -hmm. They give tzedakah. They got to live till 60. Hashem says, you know what? Since you reached here, I'm going to take a string and pull you till 70. Mm -hmm. Why? Since you got to zikna, I'll give you seva. Since you got the old age, now I'll give you the crown for the old age. And Hashem pushes him till 70. Rabbi Meir, Shapir, Amar, Lahem, Vatem, Zuchul, Zikna. Shabizchud, Tzedaka, Adam, Zochel, Zikna, Ukshe, Zochel, Zikna, Zochena, Mele, Seva. Once he reaches to Zikna, old age, he reaches to get to 70, 10, 10 years extra. If you tell me, if you tell me, if you tell me, why Rabbi Meir has to explain this, I will give you one book present today. One book present from my bookshelf. If I give you money, money is cheap. Torah has no value. Torah is a billions of dollars. I'll give you a present book. I want everyone to listen to the Zerah Shimshon. This is fundamental point I'm going to bring you now. Why Rabbi Meir? Asking. Answer is from you. Why Rabbi Meir has to come and say, if Hashem gives you up to 20, you sound from early. You give tzedakah, you live till 60. You got 60, you're going to go to 70. Why Rabbi Meir has to explain this? Why Rabbi Meir has to explain this? Yes, talk. No, Rabbi Ilan, no. please. <laughs> why Rabbi Meir has to talk? Why Rabbi Meir? Huh? Sure, I don't know why. One word. 
Why Rabbi Meir? Complete. Huh? Yeah. Why Rabbi Meir? Why Rabbi Meir? Huh? Because we would think we would think that correct. Take soon, 10, 10 seconds to give you the answer. Everybody knows this. Huh? Well, it could be after 60. Huh? You don't know. After 60 is not correct. Why Rabbi Moshe? Why the male? If you don't answer me this, I'm going to take your license away from you. The driver license? You have me the answer? Huh? Ay, ay, ay. Two words. Yeah, guys, you give up? Listen carefully. Anytime anybody sick, take three coins. Put in the tzedakah, say, Bizkut, Rabbi Meir Balanes Aneni. Why Rabbi Meir Balanes? In the whole Shas, the only rabbi who is Choshesh Lemi Uta, he's concerned for even minority. He doesn't say, he says, you don't need to wait to 51% to have up to 100. He says, even 1%, if you deserve to live, you should live. This is why we do tzedakah with Rabbi Meir's name. Because he's the only one who is Choshesh Lemi Uta. So now it makes sense. Now it makes sense why Rabbi Meir has to explain this. Why? Person has to live from Eli's family, Eli Kohen Gadol's family, up to 20. He does tzedakah. He is only 1% chance to live. Right away, Hashem gives him 40 more years. He says, 40? Now Hashem, because of the chud, the chud of Rabbi Meir, Hashem says, what? Because of one chud you have, you're going to get from 60 to 70. Why? You don't need 51% chance to, of voting between the angels for you to make 10 more years or not. 1% chance you have live, that's all. 10, 10 more years you get extra. This is why Rabbi Meir has to say, why? Because it was choshesh le miuta. Anytime checking shas who is Rabbi Meir, he's choshesh le miuta. He's concerned for minority. Let's go for it. Elaha de de meil balanes aneni. Elaha de meil balanes aneni. Let's go further. There's two questions. There's two questions. Yes. Yes. Question number one. What's what if a person is balding? Is that a bad sign? Oh, Rabbi Tzion also here. Rabbi Gavriel here. The, where the second question is, Rabbi Tio wants to... What's the balding? Where's that mean? Well, talk to me in my language. The person is balding. Ah, okay. If person is getting bold, so what was the question? Is that a bad sign? Because he doesn't have... Is this a bad sign? It's a good sign. Why? It gives you a hint to go buy a different shampoo. <laughs> Let me tell you what... The, what in, in Russian language, they say, or you have brain or you have hair. Which one? I'm joking. That was a joke. <laughs> Listen carefully. The fact you're getting bold, you have hair, you don't have hair, doesn't change nothing. It's not a big deal to have hair or not to have hair. I mean, of course, Hashem should keep you healthy all the time. But if people lose hair, it doesn't mean nothing bad, okay? It's something normal thing in life. Actually, doctors say every day, person should exchange 100 hairs. Every day. Exchange. But if sometimes hair falls and don't, don't grow... It's fine. It's fine. Second question. Means that question I don't understand. I don't know. Okay, second question. Rav Tia wants to know which safer. Which safer what? He had an answer for you. That's okay, too late. Which safer? The book that will keep you protected. How, how they call Sefer Torah? How they call Sefer Torah? Safer Torah, safer, it keeps you safe, safe, safer, I'm joking. Safer, <laughs> safer, safer. Oh God, have better Torah. late than never. Rabbi Zion, right I'll prepare for Shabbat another question to you. I know he's listening to me over there. And if he gives me the answer, I'll open my bookshelf. You pick. There's some books over here, 120 years old, and some books one month old. He picks. <laughs> All the jokes aside, let's move on. Roy? Yes, sir. What's your friend's name? David Ben. No, no, no. Your friend. Which one? Sponsor. Daniel Abba. Daniel Abba. I want to say, Roy, to you, thank you, and Daniel Abba, thank you. You guys, I'll tell you one thing. You guys did very proper step. Because there is nothing in life, nachat ruach, enjoyment gives to Hashem, except for learning Torah. Learning Torah is a life. Because we appreciate it, 
You know, I'll tell you the truth. Three o'clock in the morning, I wanted to leave this group. David Ben, Jana Esther. Three o'clock in the morning, people texting. I'll take 55, I'll take 56, 58, 59. And I said to myself, listen, maybe it's time for me to leave the group. Why? Because listen, uh, no matter what you do, you have to teach next day in the morning. And if you don't sleep good, you cannot teach good. Then I said to myself, you know what? No. Thank you, Hashem, that Kalal Israel has such a achdut. They stand for each other. Your pain, my pain. I'm not going to sleep if your family member is in the hospital. This is what Kalal Israel is about. And you know what? When I heard today David's voice, I was very happy. I said, ah, Baruch Hashem. Can you imagine the happiness of the mother going on? The happiness of the grandparents going on? The happiness of the father going on? You should know one thing. The only thing can get us through until Mashiach comes is being united. The rest, all this politics, all fake, don't waste your time. Find a reason to love your friend and not to put somebody down. Find a reason to love your friend. I'll tell you one story. I'll tell you, I'm not a storyteller. This is why I don't see my face a lot in the story books or story videos. I'm, I'm, I'm not good in it. Listen, you're good, you're good, you're not good, you're not good. But I'll tell you, you have to know one thing that saved somebody's life I want to share with you. In America, last 50 years, 30 years, 40 years, there's certain sickness. Some men like to live with a man, you know. Sickness, it's sickness. There is a doctor, famous doctor. Famous doctor. He came to Lao Moshe Feinstein and said, Rabbi, to Lao David Feinstein's father 45 years ago, he said, Rabbi, I have a client. He's sick. He left his wife and three kids and he left to live with a man. Should I take care of him, give him medications, cure him, or should I say, listen, I don't want to cure you because every second I save you, if I save you, every second you do, you do sins. You do sins against the Torah life, against the Torah law. You know how Moshe Feinstein, look at the geniusness of a man. Gadolador, this is what Gadolador I call. A Torah calls it Gadolador. Who is Gadolador? Who knows the feeling of every person. He said to the doctor, did you ever go fishing? He says, of course. When you throw the hook, do you pick up the hook when it's still not grabbed into the fish strongly? Or you wait till it gets strong, grab, and then you pick it up. He says, what do you mean? I first check if it's grabbed strongly, like has grabbed, hooked strongly, then I pick it up. He said, if you want to save these guys, Nashama, first have connection with him. Once you have a grab to him, you have a grip, I say grip? Grasp. 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 Once you have a strong grasp, <clears throat> Then you could take him out of it. You know what? I had with my Rebbe Machloke two months ago. If this sickness was somebody born with, or he's putting in his brain with it. Mm. My Rebbe said some, some people born with it. But I thought people put in their brain this. And look what happened. After Lao Moshe's words, he went, he became best friends with this guy. Carefully, carefully, within a year, year and a half, he threw that friend out and he returned to his family with three kids. He threw his friend out. He went back to his friend. He went back to his wife with his kids. And he lived normal life after that. Look at this. Even this he could save somebody from. With what? Grasp. We don't even have sometimes grasp to person. We jump on him, judge him, put him down, you this, you this, you this. Of course, you're not going to get him anywhere. You have to have good connection. Love from the heart. Once you have that, then you'll be able to bring him closer to Hashem. That's the only way. Do you agree with me or no? 100%. Now let's go further. You need a connection. Rabbi Meir Balanes. You know what I learned again from Rob Mail? If you see in person, 99% he does sins. 1% he does something good. He smiles to you when he says hello. That's all. It's a, it's a reason for you to give him a hug, give him a love, and bring him closer to Hashem. That's the only way to do it. Let's go further. 
שפים אמר להם, ואתם זוכים לזקנה, שבזכות הצדקה אתם זוכים לזקנה, וכשזוכה זקנה, זוכה נמי לסבב. once you get to reach to 60, השם will bring you to 70 himself. ממי אתה למד? where are you learn this from? מאברהם אבינו, שבזכות, שבזכות הצדקה, because of צדקה, זכה לזקנה. where אברהם אבינו did צדקה? yeah, where did אברהם אבינו did צדקה? his house. four doors open. please come, please eat, please take, please go. What are you talking about? You know what I'll tell you, Rabbi Ilan? You were not here Friday night. I was trying to give a strong chidush. There was Rabbi David Alishayev here on Friday night. And in the middle of my chidush said, Stop, Rabbi. You mean this, this, this? I said, Whoa! He caught it on the spot. Avram! Thank you. Thank you, Rabbi Nisim. Thank you. Avram Avinu planted the tree. Avram Avinu planted the tree. And he named it what? Eshel. What Eshel stands for? Achila, Shtia, Levaya. You give somebody, you bring a guest to your house, you have to give him eat, food. After you give him food to eat, then you give him drink to drink. After you give him drink to drink, then you escort him to your house. Pravashad, right? So it says like this. Adam Arishon ate from the grape tree and he sinned. Why? Some of Hashem say he didn't make a bracha. Avram Avinu brought guests home and said, eat, make a bracha. He fixed Adam Arishon by making blessing. people eat. Making people eat mm -hmm. with a blessing. Eat with a blessing. Mm -hmm. Noah, Hashem said, take the same tree into the ark from Gan Eden. Take that tree into the ark. And when you come out, plant this tree. He planted because this tree from Gan Eden grew within the day, right? Mm -hmm. He took, he squeezed it, and he drank, he got drunk, and he sinned again. Hashem said, within the same tree, you should have fixed it, but you made it worse. He sinned. Avram Aminu said what? Achila, you give somebody to eat, then you give somebody what? Shtia, yeah. drink. He said, you come to my house, you ate, yeah, you fixed Adam and sin, yeah. Now drink to fix? Noach sin. And then what? After food, he got escorted person outside. Why? Because when you come to Sodom, Chas not wow. you, my enemies, when they come to Sodom, they would never come out live. Why? Because they see somebody short, they would give him tall bed. They say, sir, you have they to feed the bed. <laughs> when they would stretch him, stretch him, he would say Shema Yisrael and already they would look for Hebra Kadisha. Oh, somebody told. They would give him short bed. Short bed, why? Sir, where should we cut you from? He said, listen, you gave me good food, fine, cut from the legs. They would cut from the legs, by the morning he would be dead already. And like this, they would kill all their guests. Hashem said, like this, these three sins, one job. Avram Avinu brings a guest, give him eat, give him drink, escort him, he fixes three sins. This is the chesed Avram Avinu did. That is the biggest tzedakah. And now we could say proudly what? Vavraham zaken. Baba yamin bedach. Vashem bedach et avraham bakol. You want to live a long life? Only tzedakah. Today we don't have Beda Mikdash. We bring in Beda Mikdash korban. Korban saves our lives. But today what do we have? Our tables. You could bring guests to your house, give him something to eat, give him something to drink, give him a smile, give him nice words. As if you brought korban. Especially if that guy is Talmud Chacham. Whoa! How much meat we did? But make sure the food that you buy, meat that you buy, is 100% high standards. standards. Let's go further. And the last piece of Zayah Shimshon, and then I'll tell you why. Sadly, I like to be with people. You know, Corona changes things in life, but soon everything will be over. And this what the Pasuk says. What does that mean on the way of Tzedakah? Say do Tzedakah and finish with it. Kelomar, Hashiva... Sorry, Haseva Ba'a Ima Zikna, the old age, the crown beauty of the old age comes with the old age. Shehu Derech Uzchut Hatzedaka. This is only on the way of the Zchut of the Tzedaka. What does that mean? Umashe Amar, Vita Pilu Be Tzedaka, Vlamar Asu. Doesn't say go do Tzedaka. Say, it says, be involved in tzedakah. What's involved? You see certain yeshiva needs help. You call, guys, this yeshiva needs help. Even you give a dollar. You collect from him dollar, from him dollar, from him dollar. You did tzedakah. You, you made derech tzedakah. You were involved in tzedakah. Involving when you are... Huh? Involving everybody. Involving everybody. Not only you. You're participating. Once you're involving and participating in tzedakah, that means derech tzedakah. Mishum de Kaimelan, because it says in Gemara Baba Batle, page Yud, Amud Bet, and in Shulchan Aruch Yore de Asiman, Reshmem Tetu. The Ikar Mitzvah Datsidaka, who 
נותנה ואין לו יודע למי נותנה. The biggest power of צדקה is when you give to someone and you don't know who you give it to. ואין לו יודע למי נותנה. You don't know who you, who you give it to. כמו המטיל לקופה. As if you, as you put to the קופה צדקה and the גבאי takes and spreads. ולכן אמר ויטפלו בצדקה. Therefore it says what? ויטפלו בצדקה. Be involved in צדקה. Don't give directly. Directly giving is mitzvah. But it's not, the same, it's not the same power when you do indirectly. השתתפו יחד. What does that mean? Be involved together in צדקה. דבהכי תהיה הצדקה בין כולכם. Because of all this, will be צדקה among everybody. ותהיה יותר הוגנת. ובוודאי תועיל לכם לפחות עד הזקנה. And this for sure will be at least guarantee up to 60. The tafasta mua tafasta. It says when you want to grab till 70, at least if you grab till 60, you grab something. But of course, with the zuchud of Rabbi Meir Balanez, if you are involved in Tzedakah, I'm telling you one thing. Somebody is sick, you're making group for everybody to retell him that's also involved in Tzedakah. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Tzedakah is always money? No. With your words, you pray. You pray for somebody who's sick. He's that is also Tzedakah. That, that's saving somebody's life. You're not doing any less job than Hatzalah does because you pray for him. Hatzalah also saves and you also save. Hashem should give the Fuah Shlema to everyone who is sick, especially yeah. David Ben, Jana Esther, and also, Yosef, put the thing back, please. Mr. Jeffrey, one more time. Yosef, Yosef, Leib, Ben, Ben, Sarah, Leah. The Fuah Shlema, the Fuah Danefesh, the Fuah Daguf. And also, Nechama, Pearl, Malka, Leah, but, Chana, Serol. Vagam, Avadash, Ben, Mazal, Gam, the Fuah Shlema, Zilpa, but, Tamar. רפואה שלמה, רפואה דנפש ורפואה דגור, וכן ידעצום ונאמר, אמן. תודה רבה לכם על כך.